I always wanted to come into this with the, you know, with my full coaching badges. I've, I've got them now with the A license. I've, I've done that last year or two years ago maybe. I just feel now the time's right. I've watched the team closely. Um, I think they're a good team. I think there's some really good players. I know the mid table at the minute, but with the squad we have, I think it should be it should be a squad that's pushing for, for promotion. Maybe you know, that might be a little bit out of reach for this year, but certainly for next season. You have to wait for the EFL to investigate this potential conflict of interest, given your stake in Super City. What was the guidance from the EFL when they made their decision? Um, I think the problem was probably conflicts of interest, wasn't it? Um, you know, if Salford, especially if they got promoted next season and we don't get promoted or relegated this year, um, there's a potential we could play each other. But to be honest with you, it's never an option. I don't really do anything at Salford anyway. I was more like a Salford fan. I was going to watch games, um, seeing how the team was doing. And look, one day it might happen. I might have to play against Salford. We might have to play against each other. I'll be trying to beat them and they'll be trying to beat me. Just to be fair, are you able to retain that 10% stake and does it impose any restrictions on you the way you can manage it moving forward? No, I don't think so. I, I, I can keep the 10%, yeah, the, the stake holding. Um, I think I've had to resign as a director of the club. But like I say, I, I was non operational anyway, it didn't really confuse matters. Um, I'm in now to, to give 100% to Alderman. Look, of course, I'm still going to watch Salford and, and, and see how they're doing, but my main focus now is Oldham Athletic. How much passion do you have for this town and the fans in this football club? Yep, a lot of passion for this for this town. Obviously, I'm living in the area 15 minutes away, which is good. And I know it's been probably 20, 30 years since there's been excitement at the club, really. And you know, it's always been a club that seems to be fighting relegation as much as other managers have tried to, to get a lift and a... You know, something positive from the town and the, and the football team. It's been difficult. Now, look, I, I'm like every other manager who's been at this club in that in that time. You want to try and change it, and I hope I can do it. Paul, I remember speaking to you after the uh, Richie Wellens got the job, when you did speak to Abdullah here about taking it. What was different this time? Um, there was nothing different. Really. I, Rick had done really well. That was the only the only thing that was different. I think Rick at the time. Won five games on the spin, I think, including beating Blackburn here, which obviously went got promoted. So the, there was never an option then. I obviously spoke to Abdallah and Simon at the time as well. Um, but it was never an option then because Rick had done so well. And finally from me, Abdallah, <coughs> the man to your right, I suppose, has been, it's been a long time coming, him coming back here. What was right this time as opposed to perhaps previously or why is the relationship going to work for you? Well, we know each other almost one year and we have a, a long marathon <laughs> <laughs> to keep it in the right way and uh, I think it's the right time for, for both of us, for him as a manager he's ready and for us as a club and uh, we're happy to have him here in the board, yeah. Paul, having played your, your whole career <coughs> at the very top level, how, how big an adjustment is it to manage a club which is obviously in League 2 at the moment? I don't know because I've not done it yet. Um, it's only been a day. Uh, look, it's football, isn't it? It's, like I, say, I, I wouldn't be here if I didn't feel excited by the team I've I've seen. Um, I've watched football at all levels. Um, I think still the basics apply to you know whichever level you're at, whether you're non-league, whether you're in the Premier League. Um, and like I say, I'm just excited about this team. I think there's a group of players at a good age. There was a couple in the 30s, obviously, but you need that. You need that experience around as well. Um, but I'm just looking forward to get going. Obviously, I prepared for the last two or three weeks, really watching games all the time as much as I can, looking at other teams, looking at the way we play, obviously, which is very important. And like I say, I, I think there's there's a team capable of doing really well, so that's that's why I've decided to come here. You mentioned the last 20 years haven't been particularly good for Oldham Athletic, but where they were, a Premier League club when the Premier League began, do you think that? It's realistic to get to those levels again. But that's not my target at the minute. My target at the minute is to beat Yeovil tomorrow night. Um, if something happens in the future, look, that, that's a long way away. We know that. Um, it'd be very difficult to get to that level again. Um, but you have to have that ambish ambition. Fans have that ambition. I'll have that ambition. I'm sure Abdallah will have that amb ambition to get back to that level again. Look, the town was brilliant. It was a great place to be. Full crowd here. Um, week in, week out, some great cup runs. 
look, we want them times back again, of course we do, but there's a long way to go. Paul, if it was your links, obviously with clubs like United, Zach Dermy's on loan here. Are you going to use those contacts to try and make the most of, of your career, if you like? That's what I'll be trying to do, yeah. Um, obviously, Zach's come in, he's scored his first goal on, on Saturday, and he, he made a big difference in the game, so I was really pleased with him. Young player. Um, yeah, uh, contacts, of course. You, you need to have contacts when you're down at this level. You need to have contacts all over the place. I've, I've got a few people who I can get in touch with at various clubs, not just Man United. Obviously, I'm very close to Nicky, close to the people at Man United, and you know, if, if they can help me in some way, I, I'm sure they will. We were at the, the Class of 92, the, the Salford press conference, just a couple of weeks ago. What, what have the other lads said to you about this new role for you now? Just wish me good luck, really. Um, we haven't really spoke about it that much. Um, they just want me to do well. I'm, I'm sure they do, as in the jobs they're doing with Phil, obviously with the England ladies team, and, and, and Ryan with the, the national team. And when Gary went to Valencia, we, we all want each other to do well, and I'm sure, well, I hope they want me to do well here as well.